PSNI reinstates suspended officers due to budget pressures. A number of police officers who were suspended due to misconduct allegations have returned to work while their cases are still under investigation. The Police Service of Northern Ireland said it has taken the decision due to financial pressures on its budget. The details were revealed by the Ballymena Guardian newspaper. In a statement to the paper, the PSNI said it had carried out a review and decided that a small number of officers could return to restricted duties. Officers who are under investigation for allegations of wrongdoing are usually suspended on full pay pending the outcome of disciplinary proceedings. However, the Ballymena Guardian reported that one officer who is the subject of an internal investigation has recently been reinstated at a police station. Change in policy. The PSNI-wide review was carried out by Deputy Chief Constable Drew Harris. The newspaper's editor, Jim Flanagan, told BBC Radio Ulster that the PSNI's statement did not provide any details of the number of reinstated officers or of the specifics of the allegations they are facing. These are active investigations, they are not concluded yet, so nobody has been, as it were, convicted of anything yet, but nevertheless it does mark a change in policy, Mr Flanagan said. The interesting thing about it is that they, the PSNI, openly concede that they conducted this review as a result of the heavy financial pressure that they're under. Budget Warning The PSNI officer in charge of the district, CH Superintendent Raymond Murray, said, the Deputy Chief Constable, taking into consideration the current financial pressures being faced by the PSNI, recently reviewed all police officer suspensions. The review identified a small number of officers who could be returned to restricted duties. CH Superintendent Raymond Murray CH Superintendent Raymond Murray, who is in charge of Ballymena and the surrounding area, said suspended officers have been reinstated due to financial pressures. He added, these restrictions would include minimal public contact and restricted access to public information. Any decision to bring a suspended officer back to work in no way minimizes the view which the police service takes in regard to the seriousness of the alleged conduct or offenses. Last September, Chief Constable George Hamilton warned that the prospect of millions of pounds in budget cuts would have a detrimental impact on frontline policing. At the time, he told the policing board the cuts could mean reducing the amount of resources used to investigate events of the past, in order to concentrate on policing the present.